It's fascinating to me on multiple levels. I mean, my mind was rattling around there. I mean, one of the things, you know, the, the Bible has like cannibalism in it. Like, like people get hungry enough that they eat their children. And that's really, really dark. And, and a lot of people would look at that and they would say, hey, you know, therefore the Bible's an evil book. But the reality is, is if, if that stuff wasn't in there as, a, as an accurate historical record of things that happened in, in, in Judah, they would have said the exact opposite when the Cold War came around and people were starving to the degree that they had to eat, eat other people. Like that actually says things can get this dark and this sad. Things can actually get this bad. And, and that honesty actually draws us farther to the God who is not about these things, but actually is the God of life. Doesn't want us to murder precisely because he wants to sustain and, and provide for us. So uh, it's interesting, you know, when you're talking about uh, he cares more about our, our honesty than, than about us having every uh, thing dotted. There's a, there's a counselor who's, who says, uh, often with his wife, he is right, but he is wrong at the top of his lungs. Um, and I guess the opposite of what you're advocating there is that we be, uh, that we be wrong, but right at the bottom of our whispers and at the bottom of our sobs. Uh, and I really like that because that, that honesty actually leads us into uh, leads us into truth. Uh, you said at one point uh, along those lines that a true thing poorly expressed is a lie. Um, I have two questions on that. The first is, is a false thing well expressed still a lie? And uh, if so, uh, is good expression and having accurate stuff, like how, how do we do both? How do we actually lean into both, both in the way we express something and in, and in the content of it? The substance. Yeah. Yeah. So I love that quote because to me it just gets at the the immuniz like the immunizing effect of truth. It's not brought with creative excellence. So if we're just giving people the doctrine without letting them feel it or or, or experience it, we're basically making it harder. We're we're making their skin thicker. Uh, over time, and they're like giving them just enough so that their body doesn't think they need any more. And that's the problem because uh, our creativity, you know, Proverbs says like a man's gift um, makes room for him and brings him before great men. So like we need to develop our gift, we need to work on our craft, but that's not like what I don't see basically in like the Christian art scene is a bunch of people who've really worked on their craft. A lot of our Art looks more derivative than original. It sounds more, you know, imitative than pioneering. Um, so I don't see that. I, I see good people doing good stuff, but I don't see like brilliant, like hard work where they're where we're really pushing ourselves to go further.